The last feature I would like to remind you about uh, within the series for organizing your grasshopper definition is named views within the grasshopper. So first, let's imagine that we have something with more components, more grasshopper objects. So it's a great, a larger definition than this one. And this one, it's very easy, it's straightforward. You can uh, be zoomed in quite a lot to be able to read everything. And uh, that's, that's not a problem. That, the one view is enough for you in this case. And we also have only one component, the construct point component which actually uh, computes data inside and uh, produces something. But let's imagine I'm just going to create a bit more distance between these parts. So let's imagine that I have some bigger definition here and then I have three parts. So one is about what I'm inputting. So the input parameters, input imp information. The second part is the actual processes being applied or being done with that information. And then the output. In this case, uh, you might argue that the actual output is provided within the component. And that is true. But then just to separate that, uh, the logic, so to make it more visually clear to you, I'm going to create the copy of those points. And then we see the, that, okay, this is the point, the geometry, and the panel that we read what is inside. Okay, so now let's go to our first part. Let's zoom it in. Again, I'm zooming quite drastically just to amplify uh, the effect within the small definition. And let's go to Canvas Toolbar and click on the Add Name View icon. Click on the eye itself. And then we can say Input Data. And click OK. Let's go right. Zoom out a bit with your wheel. Here we can also set the amount of zoom we want. Click again the eye icon and say pro process. So this is actual computation part with our construct point component. Let's move again more to the right. Zoom in a bit more. Let's again add a new view. And let's call it output or the result. And there could be more than one output as well. Okay, now let's zoom out and zoom out to the extent we cannot read our components anymore. And then if we go to our name views and select not the icon itself, but the small arrow pointing downwards, we can select, okay, let's look at Let's look at input data, let's look at the process, and let's look at the output. So this is also one of the ways to organize your definition. Again, this is tricky because named view is assigned to the position on canvas, not to the objects. So as soon as I move, the uh, the component the, the, the objects the view doesn't help that much but um, let's assume that this is finished definition and you just want to share it with the teammate and uh, all these views are meant to inform that other person or you just want to save the definition for later use. So then the views would be useful for you.